I love running. It makes me feel alive. The wind in my face, the sun shining on my skin, my foot falls on the gravel, my breath in and out, and pushing myself past limits I didn't know existed. I hate running. Oh my God, what am I thinking here? It's hard. It's sweaty. It hurts. It makes you thirsty. And you certainly don't look pretty. It makes me want to quit, scream, give up. Yuck. What is wrong with me? Seriously. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. There's reward, swag, medals, and not to mention that it's healthy. With both excitement and dread, I have completed 19 half marathons, one full marathon, and more 5Ks and 10Ks than I can count. And right now, like he said before, I'm currently training for my next full marathon in the fall. Training for a race takes commitment, sacrifices, and choices. Running in the heat, drudging through the snow, missing your favorite TV program, skipping leisure time to squeeze in a 10-miler, 15-miler, 20-miler, pushing further, harder, faster all of the time. Then the reward for your commitment is victory, crossing the finish line. It's one of the greatest feelings you'll ever have. Knowing that all those sacrifices you made, all the pain, gets you to complete your first marathon, like me here, because I rocked Fargo that year. Woo! I love running so much, I'm always encouraging friends to do it. But they just look at me and say, yeah, sure. Easy for you, because you're a runner. Sure, I'm a runner now, and yes, I push myself, but everyone starts their journey at the bottom. And my story is no different. I have panic and anxiety disorder. Every challenge, every goal, and every moment in my life has been and is affected by anxiety. I fear, I obsess, and sometimes I might panic. But how can that be? I own a business, I do public speaking, and I run. Nothing could possibly scare me. People who suffer from panic and anxiety disorder are highly creative, energetic, and excellent problem solvers. But those qualities are also our Achilles heel. We take on too much, overthink our problems, obsess on profession, and overwhelm ourselves with all the details. Anxiety can feel like a prison. You are frozen, unable to move forward, stalled, unable to live for your fears. I've had anxiety and panic for as long as I can remember. My chemical makeup, along with stressful events and life changes in my childhood, all contributed to my condition. Anxiousness was a constant shadow over me. I had my first panic attack when I was 10, slept with the lights on until I was 16, had a breakdown when I was 22, and I stumbled a bit in my 30s. Daily life with anxiety means facing a million small fears all of the time. Sometimes the anticipation of just calling a friend can cause you anxiety. What if I'm bothering them? Will I sound weird? What if there's an uncomfortable pause? What if? What if? What if? What if? And how does all of this apply to my running? Well, 15 years ago, my husband and I decided it was time to be healthier. His father had almost died from a major heart attack. Chris and I were overweight and unhealthy. We decided running would be our tool to a healthier lifestyle, a 10K as our goal. Yeah, that was me. During training, a pattern began to emerge within me. All day, I would be fine, my anxiety under control. But when the running began, it went like this. Run, feel uncomfortable, hyperventilate, stop, cry, have a panic attack. Run, feel uncomfortable, hyperventilate, stop, cry, have a panic attack. Over and over again. Many people at this point would give up on running, but I relentlessly pressed on, pushing a bit further each time before my meltdowns, a bit faster when the fear made me feel like I was going to explode. I learned I could do more than I thought. This trial also taught me that it was time to get outside help. So for the first time in my life, I entered a program to teach me about what anxiety and panic was and le better life skills to manage it. I continued forward, pushing myself to run harder, faster, further, pushing myself to learn and maintain my new skills for deflating anxiety past the panic attacks, negative self-talk, and past my fears of failure. And guess what? I completed my first half marathon on my own, no panic attacks. I was free. And that's the beauty of running. 
You are forced to face your fears. There is no escaping it. You have to show up for a race, even if it is a scary, cold, foggy morning in the middle of nowhere on a giant hill. I have had to face many things on a run, getting lost, encountering bears, and failure. I understand now that anxiety is a lifelong journey for me, and that's okay. I learn something new all the time. Three years ago at a PKN night right here in Bemidji, I had my aha moment when a presenter talked about anxiety. She said the feelings you feel when exerting yourself in exercise, like running, feel like a panic attack. What? That's normal? I'm actually normal? Crap! Running really does hurt. I can't blame anxiety anymore. But since that PKN, the floodgates of my confidence opened further. I've hit the road and ran every race I could since then. I felt the elation of success, the agony of defeat, cried when it hurt, yelled when I couldn't hit my pace, and everything in between. And I'm normal. Running has taught me that even in defeat, there is success. Here I am at the finish of the harder than hell half marathon last fall. 13 miles, three hours, 40 minutes. My worst time ever back from injury and running on a technical trail course that I had no business being on in my condition. But I kept my head and I finished. That's the real victory here. And that's something to celebrate. Despite the challenges that I've faced with my anxiety, I've always done my best to face it with a can-do attitude. I've been knocked down, spun in circles, and kicked a few times. But I've always gotten back up, learned from my mistakes. If I can do it, if I can run a marathon, a half marathon, a 10K, a 5K, or even just that first mile 15 years ago, then so can you. Those of us with anxiety and panic disorders spend most of our lives fighting the I can'ts that run through our head. But I'm here to say, yes, you can. You can do anything your heart desires. All you need to do is put one foot in front of the other, take a deep breath, feel the fear, and run.